Hi guys, in this video, I am going to talk about partition network. Partition semantic network allows to represent difference between description of individual object or process and description of set of objects. The set description involves quantification. So how this partition semantic network is different from semantic network. In semantic network, we describe objects and we have link between different different objects. But in partition semantic network, we describe object and we describe difference between set of objects. In partition network, object is one thing and set of objects are different things. When we are going to use this partition semantic network, when we want to difference between the object and set of objects, like dog is a object, but all dogs are a set of objects. Like statement is all dogs have bitten every postman or the statement is Tom bites Ram. Tom is a dog and Ram is a postman. So Tom bites Ram is a simple statement and this can be con uh, can be represented in semantic network. But now the statement is all dogs have bitten every postman. Now all the dogs means when you involve set of objects, then quantifications are used quantifiers that are universal and existential. So whenever we talk about set of objects, and we want to difference between the set of objects and object, then we use partition network. Basic idea of partition network is break network into spaces. We break network into spaces, which consist group of objects or nodes and arcs and regard each space as node. Like this is an example. This is one space like dog and dog have different different nodes that is dog d dog in dog there can be different different dogs like dog dog d is dog like dog tom is dog like ra like dog can have different different names so this is a space a space have different different nodes and arcs in in, in them so this was partition network now Partition or semantic networks main semantic network la logically more adequate. If you are partitioning the semantic network, then it will make your network to represent in more complicated or in more manners. Like this is the statement dog D is an agent and receiver is our postman and B stand for bytes. So now we are representing our network in more informative way. You can say in partition network, we can describe the objects and set of objects in more informative way or in more logical way. Now the question come, how we are going to represent this partition network? Create a general statement GS. This is a special class in partition network. First, we are going to generate a general statement that we will call as GS. Make node G as instance of G. Now we will take an example or instance of G. First, we will create a GS and now we will create a G that will be instance or instance you can say or example of GS. Every element will have two attributes every elements in the partition network will have two attributes first attribute a form that states which relation is being asserted every node like every node in the partition network will have two attributes first is the a form that states which relation is being asserted like here this was the node and it have every node have two Every node have two attributes. First attribute is a form that is state which relationship is being asserted. Like here, D is the dog. Uh, D is a dog. So first is the uh, relation that dog D is a dog. Matlab means 
first we have used the instance d is a dog and second he is a agent so in uh, every node have two attributes first attribute is relationships means what are the relation that this node is having second for all and for existential connection that represent universally quantified variables and sentence first is uh, in nodes we have two values or you can say we have two attributes first attributes is the relationship that the uh, whatever the node is going to have and second is which type of universal quantifiers means uh, existential or universal quantifier it is having like the statement was all dog have bitten every postman now all dog means we are using the quantifier or uh, universal quantifier all so we will discuss this partition network with an example now coming to the example of partition network suppose this is the statement every dog has bitten a postman so how we are going to divide this statement first create a general statement gs that is a special class first we have created a gs that is our general class second make node g as instant instance of gs we have created a node g which is instance of gs that is we can or we can also say g is the example of general statement every element will have two attributes a form that states relation and for all universal and existential quantifiers connection for this example every dog has bitten a postman first we have created a d stands for dog or you can say d is a dog b is a byte and p is a postman where agent receiver are relations is a are relation these are relations and second all means this is our quantifiers uh, we have created a general statement general statement means this is our general statement and now if we create a uh, one particular statement we can create one particular statement from this general statement so how we are going to represent this every dog has bitten a postman we have created a d instance of dog we have created a b byte instance of byte and p instance of postman now here b is a byte that is being received by the postman and dog is the agent for this and we represent every every with the help of quantifier all so this was the partition network for a partition network we can have some specific statements like our specific statement is the dog shantanu has bitten the postman gorav now we don't need this complete part why we are talking about one particular dog and we are talking about one particular postman the dog shantanu has bitten the postman gorav now we are going to talk about dog name as shantanu postman name as gorav so when we are going to use this partition network we are going to use the partition network when we want to create the difference between object and set of objects like dog uh, like dog d is a set we are representing d with a complete set of dogs and we are representing this statement for every general statement mean uh, for this statement every dog has bitten a postman means all all the dogs will bite a postman so this is an one of the statements that can be derived from this general statements like general statement was every dog has bitten a postman now i can say the dog shantanu has bitten the postman gorav this is one of the instance of this complete statement or you can say this is one of the example of this complete statement where we will represent shantanu is a dog b is a byte and gorav is a postman here the agent will be shantanu that shantanu is a dog so he will byte so he is a agent and gorav is a postman 
who is being bitten that is gorav that is gorav is a receiver so this was all semantic network thank you